Okay, just uh, real quick, uh, just for introductions, Mark Hackman, co head executive, and uh, this is Bill Rodella, our chief uh, uh, medical officer, I should say, health department director here in Macomb County. Um, interesting enough that uh, we're responding to something uh, that was put out on, on social media this morning by uh, one of the mayors of a large uh, city here in Macomb County, uh, creating quite a hysteria, and uh, I think inappropriately so. Um, I just first want to say thanks to the media for coming today to cover this and for questioning what was put out because you weren't getting answers from the mayor as to what he meant by this. And to be quite blunt and quite direct, at 6 o'clock this morning, I myself called the mayor to ask him what it is he was referring to or talking about and did not get a call back. So we had called many others to try to figure out what this meant. I mean, when you start talking about things like the uh, Flint water crisis um, and a mini version of that, uh, that's unacceptable to exploit something of that magnitude because of whatever purpose or whatever reason you may have uh, to indicate that there's a problem with the drinking water here in Macomb County is unacceptable, and I say that for this reason. I've been getting inundated by calls into my office today and having to respond by saying I don't know what that meant or what that referred to. Uh, I'm talking to our health department director who has called many different agencies, and he'll explain that in just a second, to find out what is the issue with drinking water here in Macomb County and to find that there is none but yet not to get a call back from the mayor when we ask for him to call back, the health department calling over to his office and not getting a call back, uh, but yet now I understand that he just recently put out another social media tweet. When the media called me prior to this press conference, I'd asked you to help me find out what happened or what the issue might be. There wasn't a one of you that was able to make contact to figure out what this crisis was with our drinking water here in Macomb County. And uh, again, very disappointing to create that kind of hysteria here in Macomb County um, I, I, I don't know what else to say. I find that absolutely deplorable. I, I can't even explain to you the people that called that were really worried about this because of the crisis that did happen in Flint. And to exploit that, it, again, no public official should ever exploit the crisis in Flint. That was an incident in and of itself that was a real issue. And to the magnitude that it was, is still something that they're, they're trying to address. So that being said, I just want to quickly uh, uh, turn it over to Bill Rodella, uh, Director of our Health Department, and uh, he'll just quickly explain to you uh, what processes go through if there is a concern and yet who he had to reach out to to find out if and what if, if there was a, a problem here but we already know because of a second uh, if you will social media post by the mayor that he has backed down from that original statement not because he called me not because he called the health department not because he called you but because he decided to put it out on social media that there's this crisis I think the real story is is why would a mayor of the third largest city of the state of Michigan the largest city in the county of Macomb create such a hysteria not reach out to county officials, not talk to county officials, not talk to the media, but put out some kind of a post like this to get families and people worried about it, use Flint as a way to exploit whatever other concern he may have, and yet leave people sitting there wondering what's going on with their drinking water, when now all of a sudden he realizes and is saying there is no problem with the drinking water because he knows I'm having this press conference right now. So with that being said, Bill Riddell. Uh, thank you, Mark. And as uh, County Executive Hackle said, uh, when we became aware of this and got some calls from our residents, uh, the first thing we did was reach out to the mayor's office, and we did not get a return call from the uh, mayor's office. Uh, we then uh, reached out to their water department, and their water department indicated that they were even blindsided by this announcement uh, and indicated the water quality is fine. Uh, furthermore, we decided to contact the Great Lakes uh, Water Authority, their uh, water quality section, and again, got assurances that there was, uh, again, they were unaware of the problem and had, uh, there's no problem with Warren or Macomb County's water. And then also the Department of Environmental Quality at the state, uh, they were unaware of this information and uh, again assured us that there is no problem with the water. This is not a public health issue. Uh, and again, uh, that's the cause that we made. We wanted to make sure that our residents are aware that the water is safe here in Macomb County and the city of Warren. Captain, I'm curious, besides calling out, uh, what kind of action can be taken yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I, I just, I'm going to be blunt and direct. This isn't the first time that we've had to deal with this particular mayor giving some kind of a alarmist type of an attitude on many different issues, not just exploiting, you know, issues like Flint, but even exposing concerns that he may have from government entities like the county or others. And uh, yet the question becomes afterwards, people find out that whatever he's talking about is either a minor issue or a non-issue. And then the question becomes, okay, you've got a big splash, there's a big concern, and we find out there's no big deal. What happens after that? 
you know, and people, you know, responding as to, well, he's just trying to make sure people are doing what they're supposed to be doing. I find it extremely unacceptable. I mean, I, I don't even, I don't even have words for it. I mean, it's like this morning getting up and having to have the media call me and then finding out that I'm calling them at 6 o'clock in the morning myself, personally. By the way, I followed it up with a call to several other mayors, uh, Mayor of St. Clair Shores, just by happen chance, if they knew what was going on. The uh, Mayor of Sterling Heights to figure out, because he's a large city in Macomb County, the second largest city. Neither one of them were aware of a concern, but they all returned my call after 15 minutes. I left them a voicemail, and that was right around the 6.30 time frame this morning. So to not want to call us back when you're talking about Macomb County, especially the executive of Macomb County, yet want to play with social media to create a stir for the public, I don't know what his issue is, whatever it could be is insurmountable to a concern telling people we've got a problem with our drinking water that mirrors that in the city of Flint. I mean, that is just absolutely unacceptable, and I, I hope somebody, and, the, and I'm hoping that the media takes in the task on that. Why would you create such a stir? Now when the executive puts out that he's having a, a press conference over this issue after the health department called his water department, and they said, we're blindsided by this, we don't know what you're referring to. Much like many of you in the media, myself, and everyone else around the county, no one knows what he was referring to or what his issue was. Whatever that issue is, it certainly wasn't elevated to a level of a Flint crisis. Don't use Flint. Any public official who's listening to this that wants to use Flint in their attempt to get reelected, elected, or to go after another public official, I think ought to be exposed by the media because that is unacceptable because people have real fears about what happened in Flint, and rightly so. There was absolutely no crisis, no concern with the drinking water here in Macomb County, and now, shortly after realizing people are calling him out on it, I get a social media post that comes my way from someone else, but certainly not a phone call from the mayor. That's unacceptable. Mark, what kind of calls are you getting in? Are people panicked? Are they It's a it, it, very great question. It's very similar to the issues that were happening in Flint. I have children. We're getting them from the schools saying, you know what, I don't want to expose my kids to lead. I mean, where is this coming from? The hysteria came from the mayor, the third largest city in the state of Michigan, where there is absolutely no concern over the water. But they're all concerned about the very same things they've heard about what happened in Flint. And so I would, too. I mean, I'm thinking, if I, fortunately, I know what I know, but the reality is if I didn't, if I was on the outside and I had heard about this post, I probably, too, would say, oh, boy, I got kids that are in, you know, in the schools. Is it affecting the water supply in the schools? Do I even want to have a drink of water in the restaurant that I'm at? You know, what is going on here? But to have the mayor, what authority he has or had to put out a post like this without conferring with health department officials, people from the DEQ, the Great Lakes Water Authority, nobody. Nobody had any contact or any information about this whatsoever. But you got the mayor, the third largest city in the state of Michigan, given some kind of indication that this is a mini Flint crisis on our hands. I find it absolutely deplorable. And then well, part of the, the, the latest post, you know, basically saying that our water is safe, no environmental problem. But there is, however, an issue of some reports, but he can't discuss that. Is that another level of frustration for you? Because it's, it's, it seems to be, yet again, throwing something out there, but not saying. So. And it causes us to sit back and go, okay, what is it that he's got a, uh, an issue about? And i got to believe it's more politically motivated than anything because I read that too. And when I'm reading that, I'm thinking, okay, what issue is it that he has an issue about that he wanted to create this media attention to have me now speak to something that isn't real and, uh, and want to, I guess, if you will, use it for political purposes. So in my head, I'm going around trying to think of what it might be because that's my job. I have to deal with crises around the county that are minimal in comparison to what happened at Flint. So whatever his crisis was that he wanted to create over drinking water, we'd be glad to discuss or talk about, but I called him at 6 o'clock this morning to find out specifically what it is. But to leave me guessing about it and give people that impression that something is going on that's an environmental concern that you know is of epic proportions here, like the city of Flint, unacceptable. If you're not going to talk to me or the media, then what is it you're really trying to do? What is the real motivation here? And as i got to believe, it's, it's uh, I think, more politically related uh, as opposed to it being a real crisis is there in anything, anything that we're dealing with right now currently that isn't, uh, isn't something that we can't handle, whether it's from public works, uh, from you know, our, our health department, there's nothing that is out there that we can't handle or aren't handling or working on, and that's our responsibility. So I don't know what it is that he's referring to specifically. Do you hope to, to, to meet with him? Where do you, again, go, for, go from Very, you to meet with him face-to-face? -face I'm always willing to meet with the mayor and have, uh, if you will, real dialogue about real issues as long as we're talking about factual issues. In other words, factual information. Unfortunately, I think that's sometimes uh, uh, not part of the conversation. It's more of trying to give an impression that something's wrong or a bigger problem than what reality uh, is that we have. So, I, again, I, I've dealt with this before, and, uh, and I, I can go off on some of the examples, but I prefer not to. I just want to thank you, the media, for coming out and at least talking to somebody on a, 
on a media post that wasn't even ours. We didn't put this out. This didn't come from the county because we know there was no truth to this whatsoever. But now because it's put out by the mayor of the third largest city, I've got to respond because people are calling our health department and calling me to say, I don't know what he's talking about, but our drinking water is fine. And there is no Flint water crisis or mini Flint going on here in this county. I find it unacceptable and it's really shocking to me that I got a call for a press conference at 11 o'clock or 11.30 with the health department director of the county who has reached out to every agency possible, even the water department in the city of Warren, to find out what this issue is and have every one of them say, we have no idea what's going on. And in fact, Warren Health Water Department saying to us, uh, we were blindsided by this in their own words. So it's, uh, it's quite shocking. How would you characterize his comments on Facebook? Irresponsible? You know, I don't know why any public official would uh, create some kind of hysteria. I have Facebook. My Facebook is just talking about the positive things going on around the county. My interactions with other public officials is direct. If there's a problem, there's an issue, I want to help resolve it or help direct them as to how to resolve it. I certainly never would I, if I knew there was a problem or crisis, put something out on a, on a post for some kind of a social media without having direct contact with health department officials, county officials. Who does that? I mean, what public official does that unless they've got a political agenda? And i got to believe that that's probably what's motivated here as opposed to anything else. Because nobody would do that. There isn't another mayor in this county, it probably throughout the entire region, that I couldn't have direct contact with if they had a problem with something, whatever that might be. But none of them. There isn't a one of them that I know that would, that would act like this and create a hysteria for the public. But again, I say this, it's somewhat not surprising because I've seen other things before, but i got to tell you, he's elevated his game. This is absolutely unacceptable for any mayor of the state of Michigan to do what he just did and create that hysteria for the public, creating something that is a crisis like you saw in Flint. That is exploiting something that should never have been exploited. I, I, I'm, I'm dumbfounded by the fact that I actually have to be here having this conversation with you, but I want to thank you for at least coming here in short notice so that we can tell the public here in Macomb County, through our health department and everyone else that knows this, that what he said was absolutely factless. There was no truth to that, no, no, there was no, nothing that would base anybody's indication that there's a problem with our drinking water here in the county or anything close to a crisis like you see with Flint. And uh, now all of a sudden I'm seeing, as you're gathered here today, that uh, he decided to, uh, to post that he's downplaying what his initial comments were. I mean, that in and of itself is an indication that he realizes what he did was unacceptable. Mark, where is the drinking water? Is it all coming from the lake in case anybody's wondering where the drinking water is coming from? I mean, a lot of it comes through Detroit, but there are some local places that have intakes. Is it all? And again, I don't, know, I don't know if Bill's a better just expert on this than there. I am. Somebody has to be. I'm just going to quickly hit it with you. It comes in through Detroit, Detroit intake, and when the water does come to us, there is an incredible process that that water goes through. And we even reached out to Detroit Water, by the okay. way, to find out if there's an issue. And uh, right, right away, there was no hesitation on their behalf to say there is no water-related issue coming from the city of Detroit. So, but even if there was some kind of an issue concerning something in the waters, Again, the process they go through is incredible, and the alerting of it wouldn't be from the mayor of the city of Warren on a post, from some kind of a Facebook post. It would be from other public officials immediately if there was such a concern happening. So, Bill, I don't know if you want to hit on that a little bit. Well, too. again, you know, for the city of Warren, it's coming from the, the Detroit River. Uh, of course, the other intake is, of course, up in Port Huron, but again, some of our municipalities have their own intakes, but again, as, as Mark indicated, we would have, if there was a crisis, we would have had the alerts going from the uh, Great Lakes Water Authority and also uh, the WSD. So what do you think is the political motivation behind this? I, I, I really don't know. I don't know. It could be the smallest thing. You know, again, I, I don't even want to get into that. I just wanted to thank you for the opportunity at least, because I mean, it was it, the phone calls that we were getting, not only from the media, but from the public, where I just I kept shaking my head thinking, I can't believe he created this kind of a crisis by talking about Flint. And let's face it, every one of you were alerted to this because of the word Flint. When he talked about a mini Flint, right away everybody went, oh my God, what's going on? The rest of his verbiage in that conversation, the three or four or sentences in that paragraph prior to, nobody cared less until they got to the bottom and they saw a mini Flint crisis. And right away that's when everybody started calling, my children, I'm worried about them having lead, they can't be drinking the water. The school's calling us saying, hey, is there really a concern? Because nobody is getting any response from the guy who posted this to begin with. And that's the mayor of the city of Warren. Not even us. We couldn't get anything from this guy. Can you put a number on the number of calls you received? You know, again, I had to talk to my staff, but I was getting called as I'm driving around. We got another call, and every time I called in to talk to some of my staff, hey, what's going on? Did anybody get a hold of the pilots? We talked to the health department. They were getting phone calls. So I can't say the exact number. I'm going to say 20, 30, and probably, probably more. But I guarantee you this, after we finally set the record straight based upon this information and the mayor finally set the record straight with his, uh, his uh, follow-up post, I think people are now going to be at least calmed in the reality that whatever his issue is, it's certainly 
not a flint or a mini flint crisis. So you had call, schools calling you? Or at least calling the staff? Yes. Point? Okay. And anybody else, like another institution, did you have restaurants calling or any places like that? Uh, other, government, other government officials. Okay. So. And unfortunately, I hate to say it, that's why we did this. Some of the media posted it already, took, put out there that the mayor had said this. And just because the mayor had said this, we're perpetuating this concern. And so when that got out, I thought, okay, hang on. If he's not going to talk to him, I will. Come here for a second. Because we know factually, facts, that this isn't an issue. And now all of a sudden realizing that maybe that was not the right thing to say, the mayor himself puts out a post but doesn't call the health department, who's waiting for a phone call from the mayor's office because he called and left one, doesn't call the executive back because the executive called him on his personal cell phone. I just, I mean, I'm just, I'm stunned by this. You know, to ask, answer your question directly, somebody's got to hold him accountable for this kind of activity because it's not the first time. But i got to tell you, this is, this is, this is of epic proportions. I mean, what he had done creating some kind of an issue with a mini Flint crisis and getting people all worried about this. Uh, that, uh, unacceptable. Yeah, who can't hold you accountable That's a good, the people. Again, I, I, I asked that. It's funny you say that because I asked that in the office today. I said, you know what, is there any statute or something? Because, you know, there is when somebody cries fire, you know, in a, in a, in a, a theater, you know, and uh, you do that, and uh, that's an arrestable offense. You know, my background in law enforcement, I kept thinking, how can you create such a crisis and get people this worried about something that deals with the water and there not be anything, you know, there to say, you've got to be held accountable for this. This is unacceptable and at least have some kind of a, a law that might, uh, might you know what, this, this, may, this may bring about some kind of a concern from public officials exploiting certain things for their own political gain. I, I'm going to follow up on that because I think that is absolutely unacceptable. His, the better action for a mayor or anyone that's a public official is engage with others to figure out how do you fix a problem if there is a problem rather than exploit the problem for your own political gain, no matter what the problem is. And, uh, you know, to do that and create this kind of hysteria, I think that's, that calls for maybe a, a good look at, is there a possible legislation that, uh, that might be uh, warranted for something like that? Good point. Anything else? Thank you very much. We appreciate you getting that word out and covering the, the real facts of the story. Thank you. You betcha. Absolutely.